Welcome to the weekly report. President Cyril Ramaphosa has created an image of a resilient country as he delivered the State of the Nation address. Confirming the acquisition of COVID-19 vaccines, the President's opening address reinforced the urgency of overcoming the impact of the pandemic. On the subject of energy, ESCOM's crisis will see the support of wind and solar energy from independent power producers. And for the country's poor, the special COVID-19 grant of 350 rand will be extended for another three months. Overall, President Ramaphosa has created an image of a country at work, but political analyst Professor Beking Gomezulu takes another view. Those people who are without jobs, those industries that have closed down, those small businesses that, that were not uh, able to function under the lockdown, is the general public sharing the same view. The Guguledo community has been left devastated after four children died when the sand dune they were playing on collapsed. It happened on the N2 at Borchard Squadi intersection. Ward Councillor Kaya Yozi has criticised the city of Cape Town, saying it was aware of the danger but failed to act. The Western Cape Transport and Public Works Department has been ordered to investigate the incident. There is a call for a dedicated police unit to be set up to investigate the attacks on the public transport service in Cape Town. Criminals are targeting Golden Arrow buses on an almost daily basis. They took um, some of the stuff, the money and the phone that I had, uh, the gun pointing. It was two guys. In November 2020, the company reported that six to eight robberies occur on its buses weekly. The public purse was flagrantly and deliberately looted during the early months of the COVID-19 pandemic. The Special Investigating Unit has revealed that some 2,500 personal protective equipment contracts to the tune of over 13 billion rand are being investigated. It has been found that in some instance, companies hiked their fees by 400%. So far, 127 million rand has been recovered. Algeria is seeking to hold its former colonizer France to account. It has demanded that Paris pay the victims of its nuclear tests and clean up its contamination. The Algerian military's Brigadier General Boazid Boufriwa says France must disclose the maps where it buried the nuclear waste in the African country. Iranians are celebrating the 1979 Islamic Revolution that saw the overthrow of the US-backed Pahlavi regime. Marking the occasion, Iran's President Hassan Rouhani has urged the new U.S. administration to alter its path in dealing with Tehran and to make up for its past crimes. He pointed that the former Trump administration's so-called maximum pressure campaign and economic war against the Iranian nation have been defeated. And that's it for the weekly report. Until next time.